Hey, so you open up a file in Fusion 360 and you notice that the origin or your planes and everything is off to the side or off to a weird location. And this especially happens when you import a step file. What do you do? Hey, Tyler back with Tech and Espresso. Today, talking about how to import a file and then get it aligned correctly to your planes or to your origin. So we can first begin by just importing or opening a step file like we have here. Reach out to the computer, find this one. Great. Okay, so we've got this imported step file. We've got a body. And a few things that I wanna do kind of first is turn on the visibility of the origin. By clicking the visibility, that turns it on. Now we can see our planes and the origin. Next thing I wanna make sure I do, um, maybe good idea even, just start that save command, give it a name. It's my fixture. Got that saved. What about the design history? As long as we're capturing that, then it'll be easier to edit it, these next steps a lot easier. So I'll right click choose capture design history make sure that's on you should see your timeline on that'll be your giveaway that um, it's as it should be I have an imported body because that came from a step file the next thing let's start uh, getting this put into the right location there are a couple ways you can get there move copy and align I uh, prefer align let's stick with that for the moment so you can find that under modify or my favorite way hit the S key S is in Sam and that's your search and favorites and I type in a line I love that one I use that one all the time so we can align components or bodies I'll show components here in a minute but let's do bodies we're gonna do body and now what we want to do is as you hover over the body you can see there's lots of ways we could do this we could do this kind of center point in space this corner where do we want to put the origin so I'm gonna select this arc and it's gonna get that center point and then I'm going to select the origin and you can see it moves it there and we can uh, kind of manipulate this a little bit with the flip so that's kind of the up and down or uh, you know inverse and regular and then the rotation of the block just simple rotation so if you need if this is really close then we could use move copy to manipulate it a little bit more but hopefully that gets you what you want maybe that's not what you had in mind let's try again so s for search align and now i've got the tool up again i'm going to pick maybe this corner and the origin this time and that's where i want the origin i want my planes here uh, i probably want it in the middle that'd be my guess but depends on what you plan to add and change and what your design intent is. Let's look at a couple more examples. Next example, what if you import something and it's kind of a little bit harder to align to, you know, this one's harder than the block I just had opened. So let's start with the align command. And the one thing I like to think about is it, you kind of need to do it in steps. So first thing, how do I want to get this oriented? Maybe our goal is to get um, you know, the center of this lined up with the origin. So I might do this face to this plane, and now it's kind of aligned in the angle I want. Hit OK. I'm going to right click, drag up, and find repeat. This is repeating the last command. And the next thing I'm going to do is select this point and this axis, and then it aligns there. Okay. So this is great, except this angle is not what I had in mind. So a couple ways we could manipulate it. Let's do first, um, let's do the, let's do the move copy. I'm gonna do a search, hit the S key, move copy. And I'm gonna select the origin here and we can just rotate this and do it by degrees. That'd be easy. Or if we go back and just do it the other way of let's do one more align command. Now you'll notice that I messed up. I did not turn on my timeline. So I don't have an, a way to edit what we've just done. So a good reminder there, capture that design history. You'll want that. It makes it easier to make edits in the future. I'm gonna do align 
and we'll do this face and we're going to select this top plane. Now again, the, the order does matter. So I like where this is located. Everything except that axis that I wanted to align with isn't there. So it looks like maybe doing the axis last would be the right kind of method to get this how I want it. So now when I do that, this is finally exactly how I want it. That's using the align command. So I'd love to hear from the community if you guys have a better way to work than that. For me, it seems to be kind of order dependent and you can use move copy to dial it in even further. The final example I wanna talk about is using components and bodies. So if you do an align and you notice there's bodies and components, bodies works great when you just wanna do one of these, you can see it moves just that one. But since I want this to behave like components, I'll make sure that both of these bodies are a part of a component. And now they're gonna behave as one. So if we do an align command, we select this point and the face, you can see it moves, it's behaving as bodies, but if I choose components, let's try that again. We'll do align, components, this one. Okay, so you can see it realigns both of them together as one. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out this top 10 video I made on sketch mistakes that I make that might be helpful for you. Hit that like button, hit subscribe for me. I'll see you in the next video.